I am Anil Kumar and in this series we are learning how to work with inverse of trigonometric functions. We are also looking into getting new functions from the old functions by composition of functions, right? And another idea of having this video is to prepare you for the course on calculus. So once you understand all these functions well, you would actually take up calculus and do extremely well there. So let's solve this question. It is find exact value of cos of 2 times sine inverse 5 over 30. Now whenever you have a composite function like this, we should always start from inside out. Right? That is the, that is the policy, inside out. Okay. So the inside function given to us is sine inverse. 5 over 13. Now what does this mean? Let us say that this inside function sine inverse 5 over 13 is equal to y. In that case sine y is equal to 5 over 13. Correct? So that is what it means. So it really means that if I have a triangle here, let me make one, where the angle is y in that case 5 over 13 means opposite side is 5 and hypotenuse is 13 correct since sine y is opposite over hypotenuse right so opposite to angle y is 5 and hypotenuse is 3 if i have a right angle triangle now what is the base here or the adjacent side it is equals to square root of 13 square minus 5 square. So let's calculate this value also. So it is square root of 13 square minus 5 square, right? So this is equal to 12. So this is equal to, let me write here, 12. So the adjacent side is 12. Okay. So from here, what do we get? We get that sin y is 5 over 13. How about cos y? Cos y will be 12 over 13, right? 12 over 13. So from this triangle, we get cos y as 12 over 13. So we have two results here. One is sin y equals to 5 over 13 and cos y is 12 over 13. Let me number them, 1 and 2. Now let's get back to our equation, which is right there right so we'll try to solve this equation now so what we are given here is is cos of 2 sine inverse 5 over 13 right okay this is what is given now we have assumed sine inverse 5 over 13 as y so we could write this as cos 2y, is it okay? Cos 2y, perfect. Now, what is cos 2y equals to? Well, you have learned three combinations. One of them is cos square y minus sine square y, correct? You also learned this is equals to 2 cos square y minus 1. If I put sine square y is 1 minus cos square y, or 1 minus 2, sine square y. So you learned all this, right? So I'm just putting them in bracket, not utilizing now. Now you need to find cos 2y. Which one should you use? Well, in this particular case, since we are given sine y is 5 over 13, the third one is better to use, right? So, so what we will do here is we'll use cos 2y as equals to 1 minus 2 times sine square y and that is equals to 1 minus 2 times sine square y means 5 over 13 whole square correct so that is what we have let's figure this out so we have 1 minus uh, 2 times we could write in brackets 5 divided by 13 i mean well, let me write 2 here now whole square equals to how much? So what we get here is the value which is 119 over 169 
which could be approximated as 0 0.7041 right so so that is the value of this particular function 0 0.7 you can approximate this to is equals to 0 0.7 so that is the answer for the given question i'm adil kumar and i hope you appreciate different ways in which we could understand and find a solution to this question. Thank you and all the best.